Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. The problem says that sucrose decomposes in acid solution into glucose and fructose according to first order rate law. The decomposition of sucrose into glucose and fructose is of first order with half-life 3.00 hours. Half-life for the first order of reaction is given. The question says what fraction of sample of sucrose remains after 8 hours? Time is given 8 hours. And we have to find out the fraction of sample of sucrose remaining after 8 hours. For the first order reaction, uh, half life is given. We can find out the rate constant K is equal to 0.693 and upon T half. This is the relation between rate constant and half life. We can plug in half life value and we can find out rate constant value 0.693 and half life is given 3.00 hours we can do the calculation here we can divide 3 2 is 6 3 3 is 9 and 3 1 is 3 and it is 1 upon hours is given that's why we write s to power minus 1 here we have per hours this is the rate constant value since the reaction is of first orders and so the time is given we can apply the formula for the first order of reaction k is equal to the formula is k is equal to 2.0 303 and upon t and so log we assume that initial amount of the sample of fraction sample of sucrose is i and final amount that is the remaining amount of sucrose is f this is the ratio we get i upon f we can find out from this expression i and upon f value rate constant value we have determined that is 0 0.231 per hours we can plug in 0 0.23 1 per hour is equal to 2.303 and time is given 8 hours here we can put 8 hours and here we have log initial amount divided by final amount now we can do the cross multiplication to simplify the expression uh, here we have it will go up here we get 0 0.231 per hour multiplied by 8 hours divided by this 2.303 will go down 2.303 and on right side we have log initial amount divided by final amount now per r and r will cancel out we can multiply the top numbers and uh, divide by bottom one here we have the calculators we can do the calculation 0 0.231 multiplied by 8 equal to and it is divided by 2.303 the value which we get that is 0 0.8024 0 0.8024 this is the value we get equal to log uh, initial amount here we have final now we can say transfer log on left side as or else we can take uh, anti log on both side also so as a result we get i upon f is equal to 10 to powers 0.8024 the value which we get it is equal to 0.8024 10 to powers we get 6.3445 it is equal to 6.3445 this is the ratio between initial and final amount this is the value we get since the question asks the fraction for the sample of sucrose remaining remaining amount after 8 hours that's why remaining amount is represented by final amount f that's why we can uh, reverse it we, here we get f upon i and on uh, right side the value which we get 1 upon 6.3445 we can do the calculation here 0 sorry it is 6.3445 and 1 upon x we click it then see you can write the value at least in three significant figures 0 0.1576 0 uh, greater than 5 that's why 7 is rounded up to 8 here we get 0 0.158 is equal to 0 0.158 and this is the fraction of the sample of sucrose which remains after 8 hours you can see how we have been able to calculate the remaining amount of sucrose in fraction by using 
the first order rate formula thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or neat exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com thank you so much for watching have a great day